Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope everyone is doing well. So today we are going to go through another story in the book Al Kiraatu Al Rashida. The book Al Kiraatu Al Rashida. We are at our second story. Okay. So the title is Lama Balautu Al Sabiata Min Umri. Lama Balautu Al Sabiata Min Umri. Lama, Lama means when. Okay, Lama means when. There are many particles, or there are many other words that you can use, and one of it is Inama. Okay, either Inama or Indama. There are many others more than this, and we will go through it later on, inshallah. Okay, so Lama Balagtu. Balagtu, you can see that the conjugation happens at the back of the word. Okay, at the back, balagtu means I reached. Okay, if someone reached a certain age of puberty, we call it a balig or a baliga. If the person is a is a guy, we call the person a balig. If the person is a lady, we call it baliga. So lama balagtu when I reached a sabi at the seventh. Okay, the seventh. Min Romori from my age. Romori from my age. So essentially, this is what it's trying to say is that when I reach seven years old. When I reach seven years old. So, لما بلغت السابعة من عموري when I reach seven years old. أمرني أمرني أبي الصلاة أمرني أبي my father commanded me okay you can see the knee at the end أمر from the verb أمر okay my father commanded me بالصلاة with the prayer وكنت تعلمت كثيرا من الأدعية وكنت تعلمت كثيراً من الأدعية وكنت means I was okay, وكنت means I was تعلمت كثيراً I was تعلمت means I learned okay, I learned now there is something that you need to know in the Arabic language when it comes to كنت uh, and the particle or the verb that comes after it. Now, if you have kuntu and after it is a is a past tense. Now, if you look at the book, I wrote it at the top. Now, if the word kuntu is followed by a past tense, then it brings a meaning of I had. If you have kuntu and it after it is followed by a present tense it is it carries a meaning of i used okay so in this case in this case if you look at the story وَكُنْتُ تَعْلَمْتُ تَعْلَمْتُ is a past tense okay so it means i had learned okay كُنْتُ on its own it means i was تَعْلَمْتُ means i learned وَكُنْتُ تَعْلَمْتُ I had learned. I had learned كثيراً many or a lot من ال الأدعيتي. الأدعيتي is the plural form for the word الدعاء. دعاء means supplication. Supplication. So yes, I had learned many of the duas. وحفظت and I memorized. You can see the conjugation happening at the back. Hafizdu. And I have memorized. Suwaran. Min al-Qur'an al-Kareem. I have memorized chapters from the Qur'an, the noble Qur'an. Suwar is the plural form of the word surah. Okay, a surah means a chapter. Suwaran is the is the plural form. Now, if you spell it with a sod, as in suwaran or suratun, it means an image. Okay, it means an image. So, suwar is the gemma for this word, is the plural form of this word. Okay, so just take note, it's interesting. Um, if it's 
with a scene, it means a chapter. If it's with a son, it means an image. So, hafizhtu suwaran min al-Qur'an al-Kareem. So, I memorized chapters from the noble Qur'an. Okay. Min ummi, from my mother. Wa kanat ummi tatakallamu. Okay, wa kanat means she was. Oh, uh, mother ummi, my mother was tatakallamu. Okay, now going back to our guide. Whenever you have kuntu, okay, or any other of its variations of the same conjugation, and it's followed by a present tense, it means it carries the word used to. Okay, so in this case, Wakanet, Wakanet, she was, or my mother was, Tatakallamu. The word Tatakallamu means she speaks. It is a present tense. So now you have Kanet followed by a present tense. So it brings about a meaning. My mother used to speak my to me or with me. My mother used to speak with me every night during the time I sleep okay every night and can mean during or at can mean dream it can also mean two other things it can mean where you sleep i.e. your bed okay it can also mean the time of sleep okay so ain't that during the time of sleep or during when I was about to sleep and she would and fat so means so the Takusu means to tell to tell a story okay she tells a story alayya for me qisas al anbiya qisas is the plural form of the word qissa qissa means a story qisas is the plural form okay so qisas al anbiya Stories of the Prophets. Anbiya is the plural form of the word Nabi. Wa kuntu asma'u. Okay. Kuntu asma'u. Same thing going back to our principle. Okay. The word asma'u is a present tense. So kuntu plus a present tense brings a meaning of I used. So wa kuntu asma'u. I used to hear or I used to listen to Hadil Kisasa to these stories be nashatin waragba actively and attentively actively nashatin waragba attentively okay so wabada do I begin Okay, وَبَدَأْتُ أَذْهَبُ I begin to go مَعَ أَبِي with my father إِلَى الْمَسْجِدِ to the mosque وَأَقُومُ وَأَقُومُ فِي صَفِّ and I stood Okay, and I stood وَأَقُومُ فِي صَفِّ صَفِّ means row Okay, the plural form is سُفُوف rows Okay, so وَأَقُومُ فِي صَفِّ Al-Atfal So I stood at the rows of the children Okay, so he's a child So he stands at the row of the children Al-Atfal Is the plural form for a different Children A child Khalfa Safir Rijal Behind the row of the men A Rijal is the plural form The singular form is Ar-Rajul وَلَمَّا بَلَغْتُ الْعَاشِرَةِ Again, the phrase comes in from the, from the title. وَلَمَّا بَلَغْتُ And when I reached الْعَاشِرَةِ The tenth مِنْ عُمُرِي The tenth from my age. In other words, when I 
reached ten years old. قال لي He said to me So he said now refers to Abi is his father. Okay, it is just not mentioned in the statement. But it is inferred that he's speaking about his father. So قال لي قال He said to me مرة once So he said to me once قد أكملت الآن من عمورك Now Now look here I wrote it so it's easy for you guys to understand قد أكملت So like Likewise, um, similar to Ghana and the principle that you studied before, similar to this, now it has its own rules as well. Now the word cut. Let's understand the word cut. Now, if cut is followed by a a past tense verb, it means an emphasis, or it means something that is close to happening. Okay, so cut akmel. I have completed. Okay, I surely or I certainly have completed. It carries the meaning of emphasis. Okay, so this is a past tense. You have completed. Akmelte. You have completed. Okay, now when God is followed by a present tense, it, it means, it brings a meaning of something that might happen or something that barely happened. Okay. For another example for uh, close to happening is قد قامت الصلاة. If when we say during the iqama, we say قد قامت الصلاة. Well, the salah is about to happen, close to happening, about to happen. So in this case, we follow the first one because أكملت is a past tense. قد أكملت. Okay, so fairly you have completed الآن now. من عمورك from your age تسعة سنين nine years okay so he has reached ten years he has completed nine years والآن أنت and now you ابن عشر سنين literally this means that you are and now you are the son of a, of ten years okay this is just a phrase in the Arabic language with a higher form of eloquence okay it's it's an interesting phrase this is how they express someone who is 10 years old they say ibn ashri sini okay you are 10 years old this is just a, a phrase or an expression in the arabic language we call this uslu al arab the style of the arabs like you are the son of 10 years old okay فإذا طردت صلاة طلبتك فإذا and if طردت and if you leave or if you left your prayer okay one prayer صلاة one prayer طلبتك I will or I hit you okay I hit you this is the past tense but in this in this in this sentence construct it means I will hit you okay tarabtuka I will hit you okay tarabtu I hit tarabtuka I hit you li anna because an nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qala said muru awladakum Muru means um, speaking to a group. Muru means an amar. Okay, it comes from the verb amara, and this is the command tense. Muru, which means uh, command. Auladakum, your children, bisalati with the prayer. Wahum, and and they, abnau, sabaisini, and wahum and they, abnau. And they are the children of seven years old. Okay. So we are taught by our Prophet وسلم, to teach or to command our children to pray when they are seven years old. Waldri and beat them. 
عليها and be um, and be them or discipline them okay وهم ابناء عشر and when they are ten years old they are children of ten okay now this this is the hadith of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam it doesn't mean that you you hit your children to the point that they get hurt or badly hurt it doesn't mean that it means that you have to discipline your children okay especially when they reach seven years old and ten years old okay so let's continue وَقَصَ okay we have seen this word قَصَ again it appears here okay so قَصَ now in this case this is the past tense وَقَصَ عَلَيَّ and it was told or he told my, my dad told me or my dad uh, foretold to me Abi Qisas al-Atfal stories of children al that or it can also mean those who okay depends on the subject okay if the subject is a human being it means those who okay so stories of children those who have safeguarded okay they safeguarded ala salati upon their prayers fisikhari okay in their childhood wa kana okay wa kana lahum sha'nun fil kibari wa kana okay wa kana lahum and they were sha'nun this is a phrase in the arabic language lahum sha'nun lahum sha'nun means someone who is held high regards or respected okay they were respected they were respected or someone who's honorable someone of high regards okay in their adulthood okay so sigha childhood al kibar adulthood okay so let's continue reciting our story okay so let's continue reciting our story okay kultu Kultu means I said. Okay, from the verb qala. So qala, kultu, I said. Ya abi, oh my father. Okay, ya abi, oh my father. Okay, now if the word has an alif lam, like for example, a rajul. Okay, and you want to use ya, you have to use the particle ayyuha. So ya ayyuha rajul. Oh man, ya ayyuha rajul. If the word does not have an alif lam, like a name, Ahmed, Muhammad, you can say Ya Ahmed. Okay. Now, if it's a feminine, if the subject is a feminine, you can say Ya Ayyatuha. Ya Ayyatuha. Okay. So, just a sharing there. So, Innaka, Innaka, verily you. Okay. Innaka is something um, that strengthens. Okay. Or it means verily or certainly. Okay, verily you in Naka Lat Taj you do not need Okay Tahtaj this is a present tense So uh, if I need a taj we need na taj Okay So in Naka La Tahtaj you and verily you do not need Ila and Tatribani Okay you do not need to Okay and Tatribani Remember that whenever N is followed by a, a verb, it gives it a mensu, a fatah on the end. So, N tadriba, and then ni means me. So, you do not need to beat me. Wa sa'wafidhu, and I will safeguard, okay? I will safeguard ala salawat. I will safeguard upon the, the prayers. This is the plural form of the word salah. So salah and salawat. وَكَذَلِكَ فَعَلْتُ And just like that or like that. Like that. كَذَلِكْ فَعَلْتُ I did it. Okay. That's the way he did it. Okay. He said he's gonna protect the prayer and he did it so. Okay, so فَقَدْ Now فا means ثُمَّ Then فَقَدْ كُنْتُ أُصَلِّي Okay فَقَدْ كُنْتُ أُصَلِّي Going back to our Going back to our um, Our principle before On the previous page that we say كُنْتُ plus Okay, either a past tense Or a present tense 
is followed by a past tense. It means I had. Okay. Kuntu karatu. I had read. Okay. Now, if kuntu is followed by a present tense, it means I used to. So in this case, usali. Usali is a present tense. So kuntu usali. Okay. Kal kuntu usali. I used to pray. Okay. Now kal. Again, following our condition before, kal. If it's followed by a past tense, it means an emphasis. Okay. So certainly I used to pray. Okay. Ainama wherever kuntu I was. Okay. So certainly I used to pray wherever I was. Okay. Kuntu usali. In other words, he doesn't miss his prayer. Kuntu, I was either the habtu. Okay, I was when I went. Okay, kuntu, I was when I went ila sul. Okay, to the market. Aw kuntu fi shulin or when I was. Something. أنا في الشغل means I'm at work. Or أنا في العمل means I'm at work. وأدركتني. Okay, أدركت. أدركت has many meanings, but in this case, it means that to catch up with me. Okay, الصلاة the prayer catched up with me. Okay, in other words, he said either at the market and at work, and prayer came up with him. Prayer catch up with him. In other words, it was time to pray. Okay, and when prayer catched up with me, fi maganin salaitu in a place salaitu I prayed. Okay, li an li an because I aranasa I see the people. Which means shy. Okay. La yachjaluna. The people do not feel shy. Okay. The people do not feel shy. Min al akali. Min al akli. From eating. Either when or if they are. If they get hungry. Jaru. Okay. So li anni. Because I saw people do not get shy. In an act from eating, when they get hungry, jahu, walaibi, and playing, either aradu, aradu from the word aradu, we have the word urid, which means want, okay, and playing when they want, or playing if they want, okay. So he's seeing people eating when they get hungry. He's seeing people playing when they want to play. Valimetha. Then why? Achjala, why? Achjala, they become shy min al-salat from the prayer. Okay. Falimath achjala, and why do I become shy? Or why should I become shy min al-salat? Okay, achjala, I become shy. Falimath achjala, falimath achjalu min al-salat. Okay, why do I become shy from the prayer? Wa'inni and surely as-salat and surely the prayer. Okay, la faridatun. The particle la means an emphasis. Faridatun means compulsory. So surely the prayer is is very compulsory, or certainly compulsory, or indeed compulsory. وَإِنِّي أَصَّلَاتَ لَا شَرَفٌ لِلْمُسْلِمِ And verily, and إِنِّي شَرْلِي صَلَاتَ The prayer, لَا شَرَفٌ Indeed is an honor لِلْمُسْلِمِ For the Muslim. وَخَرَجْتُ مَرَّةً إِلَى مُبَارَةٍ And I went once to the match. To a match, mubara, mubara means a match, any match. Wakana asiyam, wakana asiyam ushadid. Okay, wakana. Remember the particle kana means it was. It brings the statement to a past tense. So wakana, 
can mean traffic, CM can mean busy, CM can mean crowd. Okay, so the crowd was extreme. Okay, so it was extremely crowded. Okay, Salatu and prayer catched up with me. Which kind of prayer? Salatul Asr. So the prayer of Asr catched up with me. Wakuntu ala wudu in, and I was upon wudu. Okay, this is an expression. If you say, if you want to say that you you still have your wudu, ala or kuntu ala wudu in. I am upon my wudu. I still have my wudu. Now, interestingly, the word wudu means ablution. The word wudu means the water that you use for ablution. Okay, just a, an interesting observation. Okay, the word wudu means ablution. The word wudu means the water that you use for ablution. Okay. Fakuntu, fakuntu, usalli. Okay. وَجَعَلَ النَّاسُ يَنْظُرُونَ إِلَيَّ وَيَتَعَجَّبُونَ وَقُمْتُ And I established what I did. Okay. وصلي. I did my prayers. Okay. I did or I prayed. Okay. I prayed. وَجَعَلَ Now the word جَعَلَ means to make or made. And it can also mean to begin. يَبْدَ Okay. Or بَدَأَ so it depends on the sentence itself. So وَجَعَلَ النَّاسُ And the people, it made the people يَنْذُرُونَ Okay, look upon me, look at me إِلَيَّ وَيَتَعْجَبُونَ And they became surprised. Okay, they became surprised. وَيَتَعْجَبُونَ وَأَكْمَلْتُ صَلَاتِي And I completed my prayer بِسَكِينَةٍ With calmness or tranquility. والاعتدال means to do everything appropriately okay to do everything correctly اعتدال ورجعت إلى المباراة and I returned and I returned to the match okay and I returned to the match okay so lemma or lemma and when okay now the word lemma we've already discussed this it means when there are many ways in which you can say when uh, if it's a question form is meta meta when you can also say yinama or indama or waktama okay these are all different variations for the word lemma or when so walamma in tahat and when it ended okay in the Arabic language, um, for feminine, it is a school on top of the word in tad. Okay, but since the next word has an alif, you cannot have two sukuns. So the first one has a kasra. Okay, the first one has to change to a kasra. So in tadil mubaratu, and when the match ended, jaa ilayya. Okay, ar. A man came to me. A man came to me. Was and he asked me. Okay, sa'ala, past tense. Sa'ala, me. And he asked me. And is me about my name. Was me walidi, and the name of my father. Was and he asked me and. Sinni. Sinni means umri. So he asked me about my age. Wa akhbartuhu. Akhbartuhu. And I informed him. Okay. Akhbartuhu. I informed him. This is a past tense as well. Akhbartu. Akhbartuhu. I informed him. Fa'athna. Okay. And and he praised my father he praised upon my father خيراً, with goodness athna okay, means to praise athna he praised على أبي, upon my father خيراً, with goodness okay so and he prayed or he made dua li bil and he made dua for me okay with blessings now, interestingly, if the word ta'a is followed by li, it means the prayer is good. Now, if ta'a 
is followed by ala da'a ala it means that the prayer is like a curse it's a bad prayer okay so wa ta'ali bil baraka and he prayed for me okay with blessings wa qala and and he said ma ra'aytu i have never seen ra'aytu means i seen or i saw okay ma ra'aytu means i have never seen waladan okay waladan waladan bi ma'na a son Okay, pray at a match at the match. Okay. Okay, many from the people leave the prayer. at this time. single prayer 
السنوات الأربع وإذا and if or when نمتو نمتو means I slept okay it comes from a verb نام and when or if I slept and have over it okay in other words he slept over his prayers أو نسيتها or I forgot about it or forgot it صليتها I prayed it إذا تذكرت okay when I remember okay when I remembered تذكرت when I remembered وإني indeed I أسأل الله تعالى indeed I ask Allah the most high التوفيق I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help guidance assistance this is all the meanings of التوفيق okay I ask Allah for guidance, for assistance, for tawfiq, with the bed, firmness, okay, with the bed, the bed is the bed, thubut, firmness, okay, with the bed, um, if you remember the dua that we always read, Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub, oh Allah the turner, you are the turner of hearts, thabbit, thabbit qalbi ala deenik, affirm my heart, upon the religion, upon your religion same, it comes from the same root word thabit with thabit, firmness okay so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you learned a lot from this reading of this passage from the Qiraat al-Rashidah this book that we studied I studied this book when I was young and Alhamdulillah there's a lot of beneficial notes that I hope you find beneficial as well if you want the PDF if you want the PDF of this book, you can head on down to the link in the description where I will have the link for the Telegram group. You can join the group and get the PDF of the, of the book, inshallah. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and like to this video so that you can support our work, inshallah. See you on the next one. Assalamu